You can come to me for honesty. The Vest Fest has begun. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, <clears throat> we got a new emo on stream today. The Vest. That's right, guys. After you guys have been requesting that the Vest emo be created, it has been. And shout out to the person who made it. I don't know if they want any credit or not, so I'm not going to say anything. But the Vest emo is in full effect in the stream chat for people who are subscribers to the channel. And people are going crazy with the Vest emo right now, which is pretty funny. Vest pick? What are you talking about? Vest emo? Vest pick? Move the mic. There. We'll do this, okay? And then also... We'll do that. So that way if you don't want it with... Oh, I should take the headphones off too. There. Because people want to make a vest emote. So there you go. There you go. And then with the cowboy hat. There you go. How exciting. Twitch is all about subscription, subscription, subscri you gotta subscribe, subscribe, get your, get those custom emotes and shit, subscribe, subscribe. That's why everyone over there is all about their subs, subs, subs. Yes, the vest emo is here. If you guys are not aware, we are in the midst of the biggest vest fest ever. Eight straight streams where we have seen the vest because we have hit the tips goal. That is unprecedentedly awesome and amazing. And will we see the Vest Fest continue today? Will the Vest Fest Marathon continue? So we are in the midst of the 10th anniversary of DSP Gaming as a daily gaming channel on YouTube. The 10th anniversary of the biggest, you know, music remixes, a lot of them coming out on YouTube. There's a lot of anniversary stuff going on right now, man. It's pretty sweet. So I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys are feeling festive and fun. In addition to all of that, ladies and gentlemen... This is my birthday week now. Um, my birthday is actually on Monday. And so, as I do every year, I decorated the office last night. My wife helped me significantly, by the way. I cannot take the credit. She did most of the significant decorating work and did a good job um, to make the office look festive uh, for my birthday. So, allow me to show you what it's going to look like on camera. Hold on a second here, guys. So, here I am. Hello. And as you can see behind me, we've got... All kinds of birthday celebration balloons. I've got balloons on the sides of me. All right. Pretty cool. Um, and whenever a big contribution comes in, like a big cheer or a big tip, we got party horns <laughs> that I can play on the stream to say thank you as a celebration thing. And then Monday night, it will be Animal Crossing, New Horizons, the big birthday celebration. All right. Come, come here Monday night. If you want to celebrate my birthday with me, have a piece of cake, that homemade cake my wife's making me, and uh, yeah, it should be good. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited too, because I'm getting that positive that positive vibe that I had for most of 2017. I'm getting it back now. I'll be honest. For a few, few months there, I was feeling very apprehensive. I was feeling very, you know, uncertain of the future, but now I'm getting that groove back, getting that vibe back. I'm ready for fun stuff. I hope you guys are ready too, because... It's going to be popping on stream every single day. We're going to have so much fun going on. All right. Droopy face goatee. Probably an insult towards me. It took me $1.29. So have you ever faked enthusiasm while playing a game on stream? No. Absolutely not. However, maybe your mom faked enthusiasm when you were born. Oh, snap. Take that. Oh, I did. I said it. Take that shit, boy. That's what you get for trying to insult me. <laughs> Alrighty then. Thanks for the dollar tip. <laughs> We're in the middle of Vest Fest. A crazy marathon where every day we have hit the tips goal on the stream. And if we hit the tips goal today on stream, I will put on the vest again. I really don't understand how this happened and how it's become this popular thing that people want to hit the tips goal so I can put on the vest. But people really seem to like when I wear the vest. It's a motivational tool that people really enjoy and they keep asking me to do it. So I'm going to keep doing it until people say I don't do it anymore. All right, so eight straight successful streams. Uh, we'll see today if we can hit it again, okay? Time, 
El Joker says, since I'm the most honest guy on the internet, I'll tell you if I get the $1,200 from the government, right? Yeah, I'm not getting it. I don't qualify for it at all. <laughs> I don't qualify for it at all because it's based on gross income. It's not based on net income. So if it were based on gross income, which it is, I don't get it. If it were based on net income, meaning once you factor in all kinds of stuff like expenses and everything, uh, I, I, I would qualify for it, but they're not doing that. They're doing gross income. So I do not qualify for it. I'm not getting it. <laughs> I don't know why it's in your business anyway, but someone asked. Eve, Eve Vestrian says, any thought about ever about moving the mic closer? Because sometimes it sounds like I'm shouting, other times it seems like I'm too far away. It's about me moving. It's not about... Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do the whole stream like this now, everyone. I hope you're ready. All right. Should I craft something? Yes. Let's craft something. I'm going to craft a slingshot. So that way, if something comes by, I'll be able to shoot it out of the sky and I'll be able to have it in my inventory. See, I'm not going to do that. That's crazy. <laughs> If I go back here, now people say I'm too low. What can you do, right? Excuse me, excuse me. Ciara. I said your name completely wrong. Congratulations, Ciara. PW Dub sent me a dollar thirty. Said I like your new header. Says about thirty cents. Tip at least a dollar thirty to ensure I receive the whole dollar tip and cover PayPal's fees. That's right. I told you guys I renovated some things tonight, and one of the things I changed when you go to tip me up uh, on my PayPal tips page. There's a, a, a thing there that says, hey, if you if you click the button to tip a dollar thirty instead of a dollar, that covers the PayPal tip and ensure that I actually get a dollar. See? So I put that up there. Pretty good. Snow Carl cheered. He says, why don't you run ads? I'm sure we'll only engage in them for you. Might be a nice revenue stream. Uh, I do run ads once a stream. I run ads during my break. Um, I believe when you guys turn the stream on, whenever you turn it on, there may be an ad that plays automatically i have no idea if that ad benefits me or twitch in reality here's the deal back in the day and i'm talking 10 years ago even as, as, as you know five years ago ad revenue was pretty good and that means that when you're basically watching a video on youtube or you're watching a stream on twitch and an ad played it would be pretty profitable for the viewer or excuse me for the streamer the viewer obviously doesn't get anything out of it but the streamer would you make some money because you watch that ad all right in the modern day here um, it's pretty much next to nothing. I'll give you an example. Probably in a week, I make $10 on ad revenue on Twitch, if that. That's how low it is, you know. Now, I don't run a lot of ads. I only run ads during that, really, during that one break, I actively run an ad. That's it. I know there's other streamers who, like, every 20, 30 minutes, they'll run an ad. Um, it's not lucrative. It's not profitable for the streamer. And quite frankly, unless you have a ridiculous amount of people watching your stream, like thousands upon thousands, there's no reason to do it. It's more intrusive, or I should say obtrusive, to the viewer. It pisses you off because you're on a fun stream of gameplay. And now you got to watch a shitty ad that no one cares about, and it's annoying as fuck, right? Why am I going to bother doing that and annoying you guys when I basically get nothing out of it? You see what I mean? Like, why would I bother with that? Very different experience, and I like that. I like the crowdfunding experience <clears throat> that we do today on stream 20 billion times better than the old YouTube experience of forcing you to watch shitty ads on YouTube like it used to be, okay? So I hope that you guys appreciate that. Yeah, if I'm playing a game that I'm really enjoying, I'm going to do all the side missions and all the side content that I can find. And you know what? Sometimes the live viewing audience complains about it. I could actively tell you, Kill Bill, God of War was a playthrough where the people complained about it. They are like, I just want to see the main plot. Well, guess what? <clears throat> I paid 60 bucks for the game like everybody else. And if I'm enjoying the content of the game, I'm going to enjoy it at my own pace. And I'm going to do it how I feel I enjoy it. Now, it might not be the most digestible for every viewing audience member. I don't care. I'm not looking to make a buck like I told you guys. I'm a gamer. I have passion for what I do. It's not about making the most ideally digestible stream for every viewer. It's about enjoying games and showing you a genuine experience of playing that game and my genuine reactions to the content in that game. And if I like the game, I'm going to keep playing the damn side content of the game. Period. That's what it's all about. That's the difference between me and a lot of other content creators out there. You're not going to find me rushing through a game that I like to finish it because people are bored. You're not going to see me doing things that are the extra mile to make the buck. I don't do that shit. I'm here to put out fun gameplays and genuine gameplay for you. I gotta play a game. Okay, I gotta play this game. Gotta rush through it, finish it so I can get to the next game. Let's play the next game. Gameplay, gameplay. Get those gameplay videos out. Gameplay videos.